switch because it really can help you out in the long run if you just commit. Yeah, all right, once again, we're starting on the uh, on stadium. Yeah, uh, interesting choice again. I think because of the nature of stadium being a starter now, it's a, a favorable strike for Falcon. But Silo... Yeah, I think Falcon definitely, Falcon definitely taking out, what, Fountain and then... Probably Yoshi's as well, and then Falco just striking uh, Battlefield and uh, and Dreamland. Yeah. Ooh, that was a actually a close edge guard from Silo there before he missed the S smash, but manages to still clean that stock up and has a pretty big lead on on Sfera game one. Yeah, I'm really looking. Uh, I want to see how Sfera plays this matchup differently. Ooh, almost gets the weak knee, which would have been a kill, but just a bit too late. Yeah, not quite finding it there. But now's another opportunity. Silo's off stage and at the ledge, but Sfera doesn't manage to find anything. Nicely crouch cancelled. Sfera once again uh, with a nice uh, picture for the for the camera, you know, showing that he's just like Captain Falcon in real life. You know, he's also six feet and uh, weighs 200 kilograms of pure muscle. Oh, there you go. It's cosplay, <laughs> but cosplay is when he's playing Falcon because he's cosplaying himself. It's just, you know, it's actually him in the game just wearing a spandex suit and a helmet. You wow. don't know, but it's actually Svera <laughs> playing, playing Falcon. That's some insider information. I mean, Silo has managed to keep his lead pretty solid here, even like at 94, Falcon's looking to die pretty soon. Oh, well, you're saying that, but uh, we know he can live a lot longer. Oh, and as I say that, he covers the tech in place in a way that um, that Svera couldn't cover it just now. He also going for down throw and, and into knee for coverage, just like once again, like we see, uh, once we saw Epson do. These Falcons, yeah. they really like, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a bit of a lazy option, to be honest, just to constantly try and get a knee by just covering tech in place. Yeah, it's something you really hope for against Falco because like I said, the matchup is somewhat skewed for a lot of people or, or for, uh, most perspectives say that Falco wins this matchup pretty hard. So you kind of need those opportunities. But the more you think you need them, the more you're fishing for them and the worse it becomes and the worse your right situation now, becomes. All right now, and now he goes for one re-grab, one tech chase re-grab and instantly Silo misses his tech. So probably not expecting that. And that was, that's what I want to see, you know, mix it up a little bit. Maybe sir, yeah. just been conditioning him to um, to go for tech in. Let's see what he can get here off this strong bear. Manages to hold him in the air with those lasers. Doesn't convert it though. I do like the, uh, the lasers though. Pretty nice. I'm not finding a strong bear either. Would have been a nice little shield poke up on that platform. Oh, and not getting the instant bear either. He's He wasted that shine on the instant bear and uh, Falcon was able to wiggle, wiggle out. Yeah, got stuck. All right, drops all the way down. What, a phantom shine? That was insane. Just dropping all the way both down. Of them, both of them getting, getting back. Sarah getting burned, but going far away enough. Sfera just messing up the very minor execution things. You know, that first edge guard with the soft knee, that knee just there uh, before this, this knee landed. I mean, you know, when we when we look at um, SJ and Nun and, and Wizzy, it always seems so easy when they do a juggle into a knee, but you have to be really precise with your drifts as Falcon. Yeah. Tries to cover, and now he's covering something else, which I oh, like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was an explosive big combo. That is Goodbye. the game. Yeah, that was, uh, that was what Svera needed at the end there. Just even if you have it on the back burner for the whole game, just picking up that last stock, you know, very, uh, very one-sided there. Yeah, he wins uh, JV, actually, you know. Uh, get JV, bro. Um, oh, hoo -hoo. So now we're probably going to go then to Fountain, I suppose. It would make sense. If it or is a best of five. FD, you know, I'm not sure how strong FD is for Falco in this matchup. Yeah, oh, yeah we're, we're going into FD. FD. You know, pillar him, dude. Yeah, here shine we go. him once and kill him. All right, that's the shine. Now he should be dead. Pillar time. And downer? Oh, no, he didn't go for the downer. I was making a joke, but actually that would have been... Oh, no, he, gets... he clips the jump. Oh, but it's like Luckily, just yeah. barely makes it back. I thought... First, I think uh, Sphere is dead, and then I think... Silo is dead, crazy. <laughs> Just so back and forth, such an explosive matchup. Manages and to avoid Sfera the lasers again. instead of stage. Oh, and that time, Sphere. Oh, now you're dead. No, sir, too late. Actually, oh, and not getting to ledge there. And I think this sounds this too. sounds kind of crazy, but I think Sphere should have moonwalked to grab edge when Silo was uh, off stage. Yeah, it's simple. Just Charlie walk across the whole stage and. Like, yeah, just Charlie know, walk and then fast fall because now he jumped and got burned and dies. And now, uh, nice. Nice opening up by Silo. Oh, a nice little ledge snipe there as well. And now that shine is going to convert into it's a strong a bear. bear. 
but Sparrow going one. for uh, trying to hit him with an up air going through recovery. He does get back now. I feel like the edge guards a... are kind of lacking, to be honest. Yeah, it was a bit of a greedy down smash there. I would have probably opted to wait for a second. Yeah, both players getting each other off stage already a few times, but uh, only one stop being taken. Ooh, this should well, be another will do it though. Yeah. Luckily, yeah, right. it's good enough at this point. You know, it'll still kill, but. Uh, Svera's got to find some answer here. Silo is just completely shutting him out in neutral and punish, of course. Uh, he's getting so uh, such strong punishes compared yeah. to what Svera is getting. And I think that's the big strength of this FD, you know. Where, where can Falcon go? You can't go to a platform. You can't really go off stage because it's so long. Yeah. And here we're going to see another opening here. Opting for a down smash instead of a shine. Maybe trying to get him off stage, you know, just going for the quick, uh, quick kill there. Yeah, unfortunately, but... hits him back to the center, but this is really better right now. Sorry, yeah. Slow just goes for a shine instead of shine down there, which you probably would have missed, I guess. Nice power shield on the knee. Unfortunately, almost got need there, almost traded, but at low percent, it's not too much of a big deal if you're ready for it. Yeah, Sfera is still really throwing out these knees like um, sort of Hill Mary almost, I guess. It's really, you know, a big part of his, <laughs> of his neutral game. Yeah. Even though we have Silo, he's, he's at 28%. What's a knee really going to do? You know, we saw the first stock, he, he almost just killed him with two instant knees, but... I feel like he's being a bit too greedy. Yeah, I think the, the option of knee there is really to rattle your opponent or to try and get them into a, a no-tech situation where you can capitalize. Because, you know, you are kind of shaken up when you get randomly knee to neutral. You're worried about what the follow-up's going to be, like what the flaw was in your neutral that led to you getting poked like that. Yeah, exactly. And now, big <laughs> deficit, big deficit for Sarah. Yeah, just you know, uh, am I am I guessing correctly? Let's roll the dice. Ooh, I get a stock. <laughs> oh, Silo not finding the shine there, but still such a strong position for Silo. Finds that strong bear, and now, no. Sarah's just in the corner. He can't make his way out. Yeah, Silo. I feel like maybe this is just Silo's game plan. You know, let's Sarah get back to to ledge. Whatever, dude. Um, you know, once he's on stage, he can't do anything because yeah, he's playing Falcon. Right. Once again, not getting a strong knee, but these weak knees, you know, they're strong enough, right? Yeah, they bring you there. Another little uh, opportunity here, maybe a tech chase. FD is a good stage for tech chasing. There is no platforms to escape to, so it's just a giant platform, if you think about it. It's just we have one <laughs> platform and it's called FD. You know, I just <laughs> wanted to, while well, this match uh, finishes up, I guess, um, say that Imagine for, for all the Falcon mains uh, that uh, we still have this as a starter stage and not stadium as a, and stadium as a counter pick. Yeah. That would probably be here at game one, right? Then game one would probably be, uh, well, not here, then Falcon would have to ban it, but then what would they ban? Like um, this and think... Falcon and then Dreamland and, and Battlefield. And then we'd always be on Yoshi's for Falcon, which I don't think is a good stage, you know? Yeah, I think typically when I play against Falcons, at least the Falcon here, uh, you end up starting on Battlefield or Yoshi's. Yeah, Shifting um, Shadows uh, saying that, you know, we used to start in Yoshi's or Fountain, which I think are, you know, not as good as stages. Uh... I actually have rarely started on Fountain against a Falcon. Maybe that's just me being bad at striking, but uh, typically I see Falcons striking uh, FD and, and FOD if they get a chance. Although, of course, it is a blanket statement to say that any character main would play a certain way or strike a certain way. I mean, obviously, uh, and I would say I prefer uh, Yoshi's over, over Fountain. Though you did mm -hmm. see, we did see Epson, uh, when Silo was playing as Epson, you saw Epson not being able to, you know, move around as much as he'd like. Yeah. Um, all right, now we're going to go to Battlefield, which I think is the obvious choice. You know, still have some... Wait, no, why not Dreamland, actually? Uh, Silo lost that game, right? So it's 1-1 one, one no. now, so Silo's up. Silo picked uh, Battlefield. No. no, Sarah lost. Oh yeah, what am I saying? Of course. You sorry, I got completely mixed up. No, anyway, I'm, I'm whatever, getting confused. Whatever. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're 1-1 one, one now for, for completely mixing yeah, up yeah, players yeah. Uh, this evening. But uh, I'm wondering, you know, what's... Maybe he's just afraid of, you know, f uh, getting platform camped and, and laser camp really hard on, on, uh, on Dreamland. Yeah, that's true as well. I guess you still, you know, Battlefield is, is quite large. You, know, you still have a, a lot of room to move around. You know, keep it in your pocket for game five, maybe. That's the other way of thinking, right? That's this kind of like two schools of usually people like um, using their strongest counter pick. Yeah. Ooh, gets him with a knee going down. You know, it doesn't matter if you still have your double jump because you're just dead, you know. You can't get back. 
Yeah, that was brutal. And now let's see what kind of tech chase he can open up here. And then the... Oh, man. Okay, so now... Not finding the edge guard, but still, 70% is pretty nice for Falcon here. One stomp could lead to a, a stock, even. Oh, but Silo oh. found that! Oh my goodness! Wow, okay. I think there was a, a bit of a battlefield ledge, you know, being weird. Because it yeah, seems like he hit him so... on their stage. Or Falco, just, just, uh, yeah. his down air is just so good that he, you know, <laughs> hits him while he isn't even there. <laughs> Does yeah. it have a bit of a disjoint at the bottom? Do you know? I Honestly, I feel like from like having played and done those things before it feels like you can hit through something like battlefield ledge there um but i'm not entirely sure i'm not a, a uh, scientist that's, in that I mean, regard that's the, game, the game we play right oh, nice reverse now oh, just not e not able sorry not able to run off quick enough to catch uh, silo yeah and now silo maybe gets a chance to uh clean the stock up real quick and tack some more damage onto uh Spurs last stock yeah Oh, and nicely done. Dropping to the platform mixes Silo up. He expected Despera to land on the platform instead. I think Sora really recovering well this game. You know, so Falco's recovery is quite Falcon's recovery is quite exploitable. Falco's recovery is also quite exploitable, but um, yeah, not the case here. Um, but I feel like he, you know, usually he's able to get back to stage or get back to ledge. Yeah, now Silo's having a tough time finding an opportunity here to kill without opening himself up too much. But that up tilt will do it. Puts him up perfectly for a back air there. That one that felt like a stomp knee. Just the amount of time he had to jump up there, do it, and do a double jump as well. Yeah. Gets a knockdown. Where we, where it's a good weight by Silo. You know, goading, uh, goading Sir into. Oh, you know, I missed my tag. You know, just knee me. No, never mind. I'm gonna do a get up. Yeah. A little tricky. A little bamboozle here. Oh, someone's right. getting roost. Oh, nice jab. Okay, I was oh, concerned. I what was, was the next? Uh, yeah, what I was really the next piece was of that gonna, Yeah, a, a drop through there. We were probably were both feeling that. Yeah. I mean, we saw it already uh, one time before. It's not out of the question for Silo to hit something like that. So it's... now no, he's Silo bamboozling us. Pretty good. He's bamboozling everyone, dude. No one knows what's going <laughs> on. Maybe Silo's even bamboozling himself, and he's unsure. You know, he's just controller is playing in the zone. True. But now, if Spera also, if Spera cleans this stock up and does what he did uh, game one, that'll Just, be insane. Just an edge guard while you say that. I feel like he should have done uh, maybe an F tilt. Either way, right. didn't take any damage for it, so even yeah. then, still in the same position. Edge. Yeah, but it nice can be rough for your, it can be rough for your uh, confidence, right? Oh, and missed the ledge. That is, yeah, oh, that's a killer right. right there. You expect to, uh, you expect to grab the ledge there with the jump, but unfortunately, Spera just barely missing it and going under. And that'll take it because that's obviously that not obviously honestly it is a good opportunity for Sfera there we saw game one as well the zero to death he hit or uh, rather staying at zero percent and uh, comboing uh, silo off stage pretty quickly so it was not out of the question but now going into game four Sfera's got to find something yeah now Silas got the counter pick advantage as well so even if Sarah wins a game he's still got to probably play on fountain true and that is a brutal final stage to have to play on i mean either way you know waiting like with you a nice counter pick for I the don't end think you have enough good stages right falcon only has two mm -hmm. good stages and falco has the other four so it's always going to be skewed in a five game set yeah that's why i think i i uh in my experience i've gotten to battlefield a lot more versus, with falcons because typically they may enjoy playing battlefield first game uh knowing that if they win it they then have uh pokemon stadium and dreamland for their two later counter picks so it's not too bad but uh, going into this, right. oh, did it just crash for you? Uh, not for me. We're in, we're oh. on Dreamland now. Okay, it just crashed for me. I'm on Dreamland now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, right now, Sfera, you know, this is kind of that philosophy as well, where if a uh, counterpick doesn't work out, you can go just go to a different stage. And I think Dreamland is still pretty. Oh, yeah. it... and they're yeah, already. Silo with a knee. Uh, Silo just you know standing still and and tank tanks a knee at 50% and dies at 70. Yeah, but uh, Silo opening up huge here with that down air. That's another nice, stock. Okay, great so follow. Yeah, nice. Back to even. I see her back into done. the game as well. Just in time to see great Falcon combo. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, you were you were called. You know, the the spirits called you in, into the game. Yeah, Sfera got that combo up because I wasn't watching. You know, it was just, just how it is. Oh, now right. Silo opening now up here I'm, another shine combo. Then I'm gonna be biased for Sfera from now on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, if you're channeling your energy, then I gotta channel mine to make it a bit more, you know, otherwise be unfair. Yeah, that is the meta, to be fair. Is one commentator biased very far one side and the other one biased the other way, you know? 
But let's see yeah. what Spare can do here now at, at this uh, disadvantage. I mean, he is higher percent, but again, Dreamland, he's going to live a little bit longer, so he he's has a little bit more time really to live with. Oh, but no he, jump. That's unfortunate. He, he fell into that there, yeah. And he still, he still lives to quick. 140, you know, which is pretty, uh, <laughs> can't be said for the uh, the stock side of loss, which he lost at 70. And, now he's and at, here he's going to lose one at 60, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's lost two stocks. With the combined percent of um, Sverre's one stock. <laughs> Which I guess, you know, is, is sort of the, the, the great, um, the big reason why Falco isn't the number one character in the game. Because imagine if he'd lived to 120% every stock, you know, it'd be crazy as well. Yeah. Silo just so strongly locking down the punish here. It seems like every time he's very content with just carrying Falcon across over all the platforms to uh, get into an edge guard situation. Oh, but that up B could be huge. He goes to the yeah. side. He wow, he just goes for it already. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay. you're, you're like 70% down. Just take it, okay? I, yeah. I think that, uh, you know, it's it's ballsy to do, but it's also, you know, telling your opponent, you know, I'm not afraid to do this. Yeah, it's care. a good trade in the end as well. I mean, you, you really have to pull something out there. And again, if you're panicking and you don't know what to put out there to hit that edge guard, it's really important. You just get something out that works in time, you know? Just make sure you get some right and uh, yeah. just straight. Right. Ooh, Silo tries to walk Sphera down, but Sphera gets up quick okay. enough in there. Gets out of there. Oh, Sphera went for the tech out and actually did not get the tech read. Still, still really getting for these, going for these tech reads with a knee. Yeah. Find that stomp and the up air. Now Silo off stage manages to safely get back to ledge, but now fighting from the corner could be a little more dangerous. Yeah, Silo's not rushing in there. He does not want to. Oh, in the Phantom? Was that a... that was a Phantom? No. I didn't see. I... Oh, in the four tilt. That's oh, gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Right. Okay, so super clutch by by Sphere no, there to very hit that side B. <laughs> wow, he was um, he really made a comeback right there, I guess, because he was down a full stock after after the first two stocks. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. two two now, going into that final game, we're most likely getting an FOD pick. Wouldn't I wouldn't uh, say any other stage is probably coming up, but uh, I think Sphere can still pull it together, you know. He clearly has the uh, the skill, obviously, being who he is, having been ranked uh, top 50 in Europe, I believe. Now he gets a counter pick as well, right? Uh, no. Oh, Sphera, I'm sorry. You, I think yeah, Spilo. sorry, yeah, I'm talking about Sphera. He's a, a really good player, and obviously he can lock down this final game, but he needs to really pick it up, because on a counter pick like, Bat uh, like Dreamland, you saw, like, the struggle, even, so... Uh, that's not the position you want to be in going into the last game, you know, having to fight yeah, that last stock out pretty, on your best counter close, picks, per se. Uh, pretty close for uh, for a good counter pick, right? Right, and Silo had the lead for a little while there, so it's kind of dangerous, you know, you're worried about uh, if if he had not found... Ah, we're yeah. actually going to Yoshi's, all right. Well, I mean, we saw against Epson that Silo is really, um, really likes these platforms where you can just, you know, st keep fucking trapped on them. Yeah, and perhaps also in the same vein as... Uh, Falcon not enjoying FOD for the uh, platform shenanigans. Falco also can sometimes get tripped up a little bit by those platforms. There's some uh, laser lands you can do that, if you do them unintentionally, it can really mess you up. So, understandable counter pick. You're going for a comfortable stage. Yeah, right. Uh, those uh, those FOD platforms they they go both ways. When they hurt yeah. everyone <laughs> who plays the game in one way or another. Oh, and find that new. Oh, okay, so nice, nice run up and baits out the jab. Oh, but Silo answering right back with that strong bear down from that top flat. So we're kind of messing around and um, getting caught for it, for just doing a bit of swag platform movement. Oh, okay, I like the idea oh, the almost knee. yeah. That was a great I'm idea. Very, very cognizant by Silo to see that he got um, got the edge cancel, or the slide of I mean, and uh, instantly jump. Oh, but Silo was in a bad spot there. Uh, Svera had a chance to capitalize, but didn't quite manage anything. Could have, could have run off, perhaps. I also think Svera seems to have a bit more of a read on, on how Silo's acting out of, oh, uh, he, out of tech. He clips, a, oh, he clips a double laser from ledge, but he doesn't get the... He just doesn't get to ledge, fortunate. And not finding that knee either. Manages to hit the up air, but sends back to stage. So now Svera resetting the neutral. Finding a trade oh, Silo is dead, I think. Oh, dead. yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's nice dead. reverse. I thought he was dead anyway, so, but sorry, seeing that Silo would have gone on stage there. But now Silo, pretty much the same thing as last time. We're coming down from that platform. He manages to find a, a decently strong hit, but this time not killing. And now Sphera gets the opening. I think Sphera is really uh, putting in work with these space nares. 
Nice jab reset. Oh, he was a bit too. He was a bit too big brain on the read. I think he he read the future there. Yeah, you know exactly. <laughs> oh, he jumps into that there. Nice coverage that Sally knew he couldn't reach. And puts it there just in front of uh, Sarah's face. The up air there doesn't manage to find another uh, Texas on the platform, and now Silo gets a shine, a little bit of a pillar off, nothing crazy. Oh, but here another opportunity. Nice slide off by Sfera. It's 2021, dude. We're hitting these. Oh no, oh no! That's no. not what you want to see. Aim not like this. We need to see Silo really clean the stock out now to have a, a fair chance here because I mean, uh, he's got Sfera trapped right in a pretty high percent. It doesn't matter, it's a near zero percent. You're not gonna get hit anywhere from that. Yeah. It's just a little disheartening, you know, to put yourself in that position. But of course, no, but I think he may have been expecting Randall to come out and so didn't go for ledge knowing that Sfera had the option of Randall. Uh, maybe very big brain from Silo there, or we're just giving him too much benefit, but maybe he's just being I choose to overestimate, you know? Yeah, I, f I mean, it fits his style, right? To be patient. All right, now gets, uh, gets an opening. Uh, right, another Oh, opening. this is huge opening, actually. Oh, no, no jump. jump. Okay, oh, doesn't send off stage. Just gets a reverse. Oh, but the downer! That's, That's it. it! Oh my god, he found it! Okay, so that was an insane combo from Silo there. Wow, the end, two it together. great openings, or three great openings in the last stock, and we're and four... And the pop-off as well! Oh my god, Silo popped up so hard. You can see, <laughs> damn, I have to stream on the same monitor. Wow, yeah, and now it's, a... four, it's four sets to zero for the Falco army. Uh, Falcos are taking over, man, Falcos and again... Are... Well deserved pop off as well from Silo there. He clutched it super clutch at the end. Great set, you know, great uh, clutches uh, from both uh, players. It's very yeah. in the in the in the Dreamland game, uh, clutching it out, and uh, Silo at the end clutching it out and uh, getting the set. Yeah, especially after that SD, you feel like it's such a disheartening thing. You wonder, is it going to affect the players? Or like, is Sfera going to get a little bit too comfortable? Is Silo going to get a little bit too uncomfortable? And I think either way, both players really kept it tight at the end there. Sfera, unfortunately, just falling into that uh, very brutal Falco punish game against Falcon. Yeah, showing why um, why Falcon Falco can destroy fast fallers. You know, just uh, pillar them, uh, juggle them with the shine and uh, get them off stage and one there and they're dead. Exactly. So let's see what our next match is. Perhaps, perhaps another Falco. You know, that would be a uh, very no, funny. No, I think I think you're out of luck. I think so. I think we're gonna be having Sharp versus Jim Morrison next. Oh, but then I'm not out of luck. I've just hit the jackpot because that is an amazing uh, set to watch. Yeah, but your Falco heart is out of luck. You know. True. True. But your your Patriot heart, your Dutch Patriot heart, <laughs> can, uh, can enjoy this set. My current loyalty. My current short-lived loyalty. We'll see. We'll see. Your, your current acti active nationality, right? <laughs> active nationality, sure. But uh, you know, call me Dutch. Can't speak any Dutch, so. <laughs> no, you can't speak Dutch. I think you can speak Dutch. Does it count if when you speak Dutch, everybody laughs at you because of your accent? Um. Well, so I'm from Brabant, which is like the same. You know, if I open my mouth, <laughs> people laugh at me for my accent as well. So. Uh... Fair enough. Do I speak Dutch? No, probably not, but it's like, you know, it's dialect, you know? you just speak uh, Ichen Dutch, you know, it's true, your, true. Ki your kind of Dutch. I have a very unique accent. I've been told it's many languages accents put together, which uh, I'll take as a compliment, you know? It's, good yeah, it's, your, for me. It's, it's just your, your own, right? Yeah, exactly. Just own it, you know? Um, let's see, so I'm not even sure. I read somewhere where it was going to be Jim Morrison against Sharp, but now I can't find... Uh, uh, yeah, Sharp is streaming. Oh, okay, great. Under Sharpbot, I believe. Sharpbot. Not under Red Blaze number one fan. Yeah, I know. Quite a quite a weird occurrence here. That okay, that so a... the first time we're getting, so this is two big first times. So first floaty, and then also first uh, set without a Falco. True. Because it's going to be Fox good first Peach. Going into this, I'd say Sharp probably has a lot of experience against Foxes naturally. I mean, it's just a character that everybody has a lot of experience against. You basically can't avoid fox in a lot of brackets right, right. Um, i mean i think and, uh, jim morrison also has a lot of experience against peach though exactly now yeah. being one of the top players i mean he's at the same level as jim morrison they play a lot i i think exactly yeah we have 